Yo, what is going on guys? My name's the Machine, and today guys I've got you another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video back in the channel and today I'm coming at you with another episode of my favourite series to do here on YouTube at the moment in this particular Call of Duty called How to Get a Nuclear Medal on Every Single Map in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now today what we've got rocking in the background is a Nuclear Medal on Hardcore Team Deathmatch using the Vesper on the map Infection. Now this map in itself, if you're at the A flag and you look to your right hand side and you'll be like, oh the map's so weird, it's got houses on the side, up the wall, the cliff and everything, it's a weird map in itself. So you know from just looking at this map and like taking your time to look around when you're actually in a game on it that it's going to play a little bit weird since of the aesthetics being really weird on the map. So what I really like doing on this map is controlling the sea side of the map and if you don't know where sea is on the map, I'll put a picture on screen right now of the whole radar scanned map from a bird's eye view. So here's the C flag, here's the A flag and here's the B flag in the middle of the map. And a lot of you guys straight away right will probably be thinking, yep, yeah, this is a pretty normal map for the layout and everything due to the fact the objectives are in normal places spread out equally in thirds across the map, two at the edges of the map where you spawn and then one in the middle. Yeah, this seems normal, but no. Honestly, it's kind of weird because of the fact of the new movement system. It kind of relates back to all the Call of Duties where you have that stale kind of warfare. A lot of people like controlling the mid map and the stale kind of warfare I'm on about from all the Call of Duties, which makes it weird for the new movement system, is the fact of having two dominant buildings like, say for example on Nuketown in the older Call of Duties or like Backlot from Call of Duty 4. Even if you're that OG, I don't know if you are, but basically what I'm talking about is two dominant places on the map to head glitch. And this doesn't have to be two dominant buildings, even though on this map there is two dominant buildings, the church at the A flag side of the map and then the normal house at the C side of the map where it has more than one window to head glitch at so you can get more teammates in there and hopefully not get collided by a sniper, a gorgon or a shiva in the head if they have high caliber on. But anyways, what I'm talking about as well is the fact you can go on the bottom of the map where there's sandbags and vehicles and head glitch behind those. So you don't really want to be going in these spots on the map and that's why it plays really weird because you've got the new movement system where you can move really fast. There's infinite amounts of war run spots and g-slide spots even though I might not have that at the time of you watching this because they're patching it in the Awakening DLC drop-in. So the point I'm trying to get at guys is you want to avoid all this major chaos action in the middle of the map and where actually the middle of the map is exposed to which is the right side of the air flag so you want to be going to the left side of the air flag when you spawn or the right side of the sea flag so if you don't know where that is again it's the place where you can jump onto the giant rock to get a height advantage on your enemies where you can actually jump off the edge of the map at the side of the map so that's the best way to go in my opinion sneaking around there with kinetic armor, combat focus or anything like that and having an SMG I know an SMG obviously long range isn't very good but in hardcore it doesn't really matter because you can actually get one shot kills or I mean you know burst shot kills where you only have to shoot like one or two shots but you get my point they're all powerful on hardcore either way even a pistol might be a good gun if they're really accurate and you don't get much kick on them when you're shooting them but anyways guys we've literally just gone past picking up the nuclear and the two unstoppable medals that was a pretty fast nuclear right with a pretty good clutch at the end near the tank where I'm rushing around getting all them guys at once with my kinetic armor and if you're playing hardcore definitely use kinetic armor but what I want to say and the reason I want to say use SMGs on this map is be the rusher a lot of people in this map fail to realize that when they actually camp I mean I know at the start of the game's release people would camp in the two buildings and get massive kill streaks I know SS Sniper Wolf got like a 60 kill streak by doing this with a Dracon or something but that doesn't work anymore you always have that one rusher who comes up behind you so what I want to say to you guys is be the rusher and if you have a gun that's kind of accurate like the Razorback or the Pharaoh I definitely recommend them on this map so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of how to get a nuclear on every single map if you guys are struggling on a particular map and want help on that map let me know in the comment section below and I might get around to it for next episode of how to get a new clue on every map so thank you all for watching i love all your faces slap a like on the video and as always peace out